Hey guys, we are live, and I think we have a black screen, so I'm pretty sure what the problem is I had to test it one more time, and I think I can fix it without restarting. There we go. I think it was working anyway, just uh, not used to OBS. So I am basically talking to myself right now, which is fine. There's one person watching and that is my second YouTube account. <laughs> so I can moderate the chat from my laptop. Uh, but if you are watching the playback, thank you. And I will try to make this as entertaining as I know how we are going to be detailing up some coastline adding some hotels that I recently downloaded but let's get this unpaused and get it daytime I was uh, creating a short earlier today with this map a, a couple actually and I actually went over 30,000 pops so I hit Colossal City off camera, but that's okay. If you watch City Skylines videos, you've seen that before. <laughs> uh, but oh, we got a trash full. That's because I let it run for 10 minutes. That one's 75% full. Dang. We have a crisis almost. All right, let me get it back to daytime. And that was fast. Just click up a button, it's awesome. Don't want it super bright or don't want it a little shady. Well, we, wanted, we wanted it around that time because we're gonna be on this side of the water. So I haven't played since the last live, other than making a couple short videos, little tutorials. On how to make square parking lots, like in a square instead of rounded, and pedestrian pathways. You use the mod uh, controller tool. So this is where we left off, and I've downloaded several hotels. Um, this it's actually from a content creator pack and we are going to remove this whole coastline of residential and if I have time today we will be adding to Woodland College and I did have a suggestion on my t video that dropped today um, doing a new series I'm calling it hard mode and basically what's making it hard is a realistic population and um, traffic manager set to where the vehicles don't uh, despawn so uh, I think realistic mode it's not super hard but you're having to make super big um, neighborhoods at the beginning of the game so Oh, hey, Jelby, thanks for being here. I saw your comments. So just, my phone's about dead, so I wasn't able to reply. And we got a mass exodus of folks because I just destroyed their homes. Uh, we are going to put in a hotel or two in this area. Only thing that kind of ruins it is this train, <laughs> the rails. Uh, but they'll live. And this is a natural reserve, and if I can 
manage it. I'd like to get like a hotel over here somewhere with a gate to the park, but I don't know if that's going to be possible. Uh, these rails kind of screw that up. So. All right, and if, since you just got here, Jelby, what I'm doing is, uh, I already said it, right? I'm finishing up some detailing and putting in some hotels, but I already told you that. I'm not used to being live. I'm kind of still a little nervous about it, but this is a Seaside Resorts content creator pack, and I'm not sure which one of these I'm going to put in. Whoops. Maybe one or two, but then I need room for parking. So, there's quite a few of them. They're pretty cool. I think they will fit nicely. <clears throat> Let's uh, get some more land. Hill's probably going to keep me from putting a lot here too, so it might just be one hotel. We got three watchers. Welcome if you're just arriving. Actually, only two watchers because one is my dummy account to monitor chat on my laptop. So, thanks for being here. We are placing some hotels down instead of these high res residential. Just deciding if I like it or not. it would look better on a side street the front entrance with the porch facing the water smaller road here it's better oh, come on Nice light pole right in the walkway. Okay, where is 
is it? Yeah, Joby, I just got it. Um, actually, I've had it for a while, but it's the first I've seen it because I haven't really tried place any hotels because I downloaded them all at once, so I don't remember what I had. <laughs> and is there literally a spot right there? That's not, I don't, like, why? Oh, gosh. I thought I moved. Why did he stop? Okay. the wrong buttons. Oh, and that's why I stopped, because there's just a light. There. Definitely need parking. They're arriving. I'm just deciding what parking lots I want to use. If I want to use the uh, pre made ones or if I want to make one. The made ones look so much better though. controller works for this here too. that I just want a straight shot fix that? I'm not sure. Okay. Now oh, the angle's all messed up. I know there's a way to make it like all straight and perfect against something. I just forgot what buttons it is. I've never used it. I think it's Control H, but with a different mod. Let's bring this one down. Nope, the road needs to come down. I 
think it's good enough. I can hide it with some uh, props. Let's get spots in. That's good enough. <laughs> yeah, Joe, I'll be on. I will. Let me, um, this might take a minute though. I just want to do some vegetation. Am I too loud or is the sound effects too loud? Or is it good? Because I have to mute everything else or it gets a lot of feedback. You've seen my other videos, I guess, so you have an idea what the city looks like. Is there anything particular you want to look at first? Uh, yeah, kind of. It's, uh, it's kind of small, but yeah. I should be using a prop tool here instead of placing these one at a time. I don't know what I'm doing. This is uh, the main downtown area, like the newer downtown. And then this is like where I started, so I made it smaller, like with the old school Main Street. Like this is the first area I 
detailed. This was a pain because all these buildings I didn't um, set the mod right so they would abandon because there's not enough people for workers. So that was, it made me pretty mad. I didn't have it set right. I was had to redo all that over again. Yeah, I'm going to do um, a lot of vegetation over there. But uh, let me turn this rain off too. So this is the this is a pretty cool asset that's on the workshop. Uh, world's biggest world. I thought it was pretty neat, so I put it in front of the stock exchange. And I have not even tried leveling this up but once. But this is like a little you know mini Central Park kind of thing. And I hand placed all these buildings after they zoned in. What I usually do is build an area and let everything zone in vanilla, and then I go back and change it how I want it to look. So this is from the skyscraper pack here. I think I have two skyscraper pack buildings in here. I think this is the other one. No. That's one of these. This one maybe? Yeah. But this here is the first parking lot I made and then the second one. That was an early video. But I think I love this stadium. Too bad it's soccer though. I'd rather it be American football. <laughs> guess I have inner city trains allowed at this station. I thought I turned them off. But. So we got a backup. Too many trains. And we get this mess. Trying to find the engine. Maybe that one might make it go away. No. make sure all the other inner city trains mods or buttons are turned off because I thought I turned them off all right But I have two big parking garages in here just because I felt it was needed. Um, I'm not really good at uh, modding, or not modding, but detailing like downtown areas like this because this is like reminds me of, you know, Ch in, uh, Ch Chicago. Yeah, well, Chicago, New York, but I've never been to those big cities before, so I don't really know. I'm just going off what I can remember by like movies and stuff but I've never really paid attention to the streets like how many parking lots are there in these big cities like you don't really see them from satellite images or Google Earth so I tried like this is just blank because I don't know what to put there so there's definitely work to be done And then we got, um, this is a really cool mod. It's a consolidated high school athletic 
building. Um, this was just me experimenting with the plazas and promenades pack because these are walkways for pedestrians. I thought it'd be kind of cool to do it with a high school. But my favorite is this farm. Like I'm, I can't wait to expand some more and build some more farms somewhere else. I really like this area. And most of it's working. Just this one uh, animal pasture wants to say not enough raw materials. So I just don't have room to add anything else here. But I figured two big a meat processing plant and this milk pasture, what is it called? Milk parlor needs a yard for their uh, trucks trailer so I did that and it looks like glitching a little bit it's not supposed to be like that and if I'm delayed to respond to anything um, that you're saying it's just because my laptop is to the right so I have to look over at it this area right here is what you're talking about I'm going to turn up my laptop for a minute, so if you hear feedback, I just want to see what how long a delay it is on my end from uh, when I'm talking and then responding or whatever. I'm going to turn up my laptop for a minute, so if you hear feedback, I just want to see what... Okay. It's like 10 seconds or so so not bad uh, this is actually a, an asset I made this lot right here I thought I needed a parking lot that was just wrecked looking and I've been trying to make some more but it's just finding the time I have like three of them built um, I think that's really cool I like that but thank you um, for telling me what that you like this this is my favorite part actually I've never tried making um, a pond so it was I had to watch like two or three YouTube videos to figure it out but it's not that hard once you uh, know how it's just uh, weird controls on the mouse I actually really like this too. Uh, this is a dual power plant that's made by Ivanya. I think I think she is a she. Um, from being in another group, I man, she's like a worker for uh, what's it called, Colossal Order, that makes mods. I think they hired her after she made a bunch of these really cool assets and stuff. I don't know the story, but I'm pretty sure I think I know the person that made this. But, oh, I thought we were, whoo, I thought we were freezing up. I was just saving. Okay. See, all this right here should not be missing the concrete. I think it was a aftermath of a glitch I had with um, ruined terrain. Oh, come on. That one's supposed to be like that, I guess. <laughs> Just making it worse. Alright, I'm not 
touching it anymore. But I will never have power problems in this city again. It's, there's 674 megawatts available, and I'm only using 154 right now. So I probably will not need to add any more power, ever, hopefully. more trash problems okay that's just the pedestrian walkways having a problem for some reason let me double check these dumps let me see if they're empty yet this one was empty started emptying fast now it's at 30 percent okay So I did this earlier for a, for um, what you call it, the short I did video, <laughs> but I added a drive-through line. <laughs> I think that's cool. Only thing is, it was a time-lapse video, and those cars never moved for ten minutes. <laughs> uh, the most of the money, I I don't ever hardly look at the budget, but I'm pretty sure it's coming from industries. I actually never look at this. Yeah, so we got um, 9, 6,700, 700, I'm blind, $6,900 a week coming from warehouses and factories. And then fishing industry is only bringing in about 1,000 a week, so it's losing money. And then farming is bringing in. 3600 a week and that fluctuates it's goes up and down depends on how much they import see the fishing industry just went up to 1300 so industries you once you get industries going you make a lot of money from them so i, I really want to add another area i just haven't got to a point where i wanted to yet I have a cool decal that I can never get to work. It's for grass. It's like cut grass. I just never can get it to work properly because it's never a perfect square and these don't, you can't change these with procedural objects. But it would look really cool to have manicured grass in front of this place. Because you can't, it goes over the road too so I haven't quite figured out how to use these yet unless I cover it with bushes in the corners I guess I could do that yeah oil is like it's supposed to be easy money Interesting. That's the first time I'm seeing these. I haven't scrolled that far before. Oh, this is for it's parking lot grass. I hope that wouldn't work for this area, but it's kind of neat. And then these decals they spread over onto the road too. So we'll just have to not use those all right i haven't used much much little much hedges in this game so i think i'm going to use some for this hotel here let's just see how it looks i usually line everything with bushes and shrubs but let's do some hedges this time
the same one. good enough and then maybe some ferns here why is that white a white fern okay that's new to me you ever heard of a white fern those are just too big I thought I have rose bushes I want props okay That looks kind of cool. I like that. Let's go here too. That little touch looks really cool. Yeah, I like oak trees too. I've actually, um, there's this pack, these trees here. They're not oak trees, they're just called leafy trees. If I can grab it. Oh, I need the picker tool for that. These leafy trees here, they're, um, I was gonna, by P. Delmo. It's a pack of trees. Let me click it. I don't know. I'm not sure if you're going to see this because I never tried clicking in the browser. So let's see if it pops up since there's a delay. I don't know. But it's a leafy tree set. There's like five trees in it, I think, and they're awesome. I like them. And a bush. No, there's four trees. Sorry. But I used the bob tool and change every tree on the map to those and then a couple random ones but I'm trying to make this look really fancy because it's this is kind of a rich area but again the train the rails kind of ruin it <laughs> So it's trying to make this really fancy looking. So I might line this with rose bushes too, but I don't know. Let's see. That might be overkill though, because you're not going to see it because of the hedgerow. So let's see what else we can do. kind of cool and I have an idea let me move these around let's see I might have to get rid of them completely I want to put a fountain in the middle of the grass let's use the picker tool on these there it is we will make it a procedural object if we can. Oh, I messed up. Okay. I don't know where it is. 
this. It says click to place, but there's nothing there. It might not be one you can make. doesn't work. Right, Let's see if I can grab this other one there. Oh, we have four people in the chat. That is a record for me. Welcome. Do me a favor, hit that like button if you are liking it. If you don't, well, you can thumbs down. YouTube doesn't care either way. Okay, so let's put a path here. Nope, this one might work. Okay, it's getting under something. Let's find a fountain first, and then we can uh, mess with the path. too big and this one I have to deal with that one but does it really work for this old looking style place let's see thank you I see the likes went up I guess I don't know you still here, Jelby? What do you think? it kind of like a circle. But not really a circle, just curved at the end there. make these grass decals work now. Kinda. I don't know if I like it though. It doesn't look real to me and in this spot hmm. 
Yeah, I wish it would go underneath the decals you place. I can hide it better. This might be staying anyway. I've already worked on it so long. <laughs> uh, let's see. Alright, I think I think I might have recovered from that. We got some mulch decals too. It's not perfect, but I think it's cool. I like it. I didn't think I'd like it, but that's the first time I've made those work. Kinda. It's not perfect, but... Alright, and the parking is full. Jeez. I wish I could make room for more, I just don't see how I can make it look good without really screwing this place up because I already want to make a beach I need to spread this out should not be doing that. <laughs> I might have to disable cars on that road. They're just using it to turn around and it actually might be helping the traffic at the light so maybe I will leave it because that was getting pretty backed up earlier. So let me check these trash dumps. I'm surprised nobody's crying about trash yet. It's 15%, that's good enough. And maybe I'll, I'll probably put some hotels on this side too, because they're not digging the noise anyway. <laughs> okay, uh city planner plays I got you I say that in my head but I don't say it out loud because I don't want to sound like I'm copying them that dude is incredible when it comes to uh, making cities I guess it helps if that's your job okay now we need to um, decorate the front here and this I was trying to do like an east coast kind of vibe but these ferns ruin it there's not really many ferns on the east coast so I'm just making it my own territory but I'm going off with a lot of inspiration 
of East Coast beaches, and they do have quite a bit of grass and tall reeds and stuff, but at least like Myrtle Beach and stuff, because I'm from South Carolina, and I don't have any reeds, but I do like this grass here, if I can grab the right one, is that the right one? Okay, it is. But I need to do a path. Oh, I know. He's spot on with that uh, comment. He also says mulligan a lot, and that's like my word, but I'm not saying it on purpose because of him. Alright, let's use the um, path here. And I wish I had invisible paths, but the ones on the... I think I downloaded one, but I don't remember. But the, all the ones I found on the workshop said there, there's people complaining that they were broke and stuff, so I didn't want to download it and br break my game, so I didn't download any, unfortunately. But invisible path on the beach would be really cool, because then it just looks like people are walking on the beach. Which word? Mul mulligan? I'm guessing that yeah, that's what you're talking about. Oh, hey. They are using the path. Cool. That was probably a stupid question. That was the only word we were talking about. I'm telling you, playing streaming like this, like my mind's in like four different places right now. I'm trying to concentrate and talk to you and make a game. And not just talk, like be good at it. <laughs> it's hard, but I enjoy this, so I'm starting to like it. Let's add these weeds here. Oh, and I have an idea. Um, well, not anymore. There was a a pretty big dip here uh, until I placed the path. I wanted to put a pipe in like it was a ditch because there's a lot of places where pipes run into the ocean. I mean, usually you don't see them though but so I, I won't try to mess with it. I'll break the game. <laughs> Excuse me. I'll break this map if I try doing that. And I don't want to use these rocks all the way down the coast either. It'd be cool if it was sand. Let's try some sand decals. I don't want to use the... I don't even think I have sand as a surface tool. No, I don't, don't, I don't have that mod. Let's see. I have sand decals, I don't know where they went though. Okay, I don't need to see this anymore. Go away. I think it's coastal or beach. There we go, coastal. we're going to be able to make it look right on here. I 
Maybe that one? So I think that does look okay to me. I like it. I have no idea what kind of resources decals take up. Do you? Because <laughs> if it takes up nodes, then I'm screwed. Of course it doesn't work right there. that with some rocks or something all right but that I like that looks awesome actually I really like that all right cool I appreciate it you're the only one left looks like the other person left but at least they left me a like on the way out rock Let's see if I can find a rock are way too big of rocks, these two. But I can make that fit right there. I think that'll look cool. Just sink it in the ground. Right, do I have a rock or a decal? Decal. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with not using mods. Um, I can't help myself though. I've been playing this for since it came out, so I need mods. I, I kind of wanted to do a vanilla series, but I just I can't play without Traffic Manager or move it. So I don't think I could make a good vanilla series. place there. Okay, I'll just have to move it to there. never detailed a coastline like this before and I'm really only doing it for YouTube <laughs> and it's but it is actually fun so uh, playing this by myself and doing this type of detail and then nobody to show it off to it's like what's the point so that's one reason why I'm doing these YouTube videos because I want to show off my creations to people. So we need to do this area. See how that works. Well, it worked. And then let's do these shells. I probably should do something with that over here. I guess I'll wait until we go that side of the road. Let me check to make sure everything's good. That's one thing I like watch live replays of other people. Um, let's see, Overcharged Egg. I really like his videos. I don't know if you watched him. 
Um, but he never looks over his city to make sure he doesn't have like some major death wave or a uh, trash pile up or something. And it's like, how are you managing? Like, I just can't. Like, uh, so I always have to look. Are good. All right, I think I'm gonna get. Well, no, I'm not done detailing this yet. I need a screenshot, but not yet. Let's see. I want to hide this too, but we're about to see if if too many decals is a thing. that mm. actually if I did it over the path instead it would look like sand instead of the nature trail and it will hide it anyway Yeah, a, a mod that you, if there's a problem with how the game releases all the trucks, like there's just so many trucks and then it just backs traffic up like crazy, even on no despawn mode. Um, so I play with Rebalance Industry, that's another mod I'm finding where I can't play without, because there would be a billion trucks over here with all of these farms. Like there's, these are all legit farms except for maybe four. So they're all producing, there would be a billion trucks. And if I didn't have rebalance industry, it would just, uh, the city would just wreck because they wouldn't be able to deliver goods because they'd be stuck in traffic. All right. Uh, I think that looks cool. What do you think? You think that looks good? I like it. I need more uh, grass though. It's like the dead grass I like. Nope, not that one. It's supposed to be dead. That's too crazy. All right, maybe just some um, some of that might work. I spent like 40 minutes on this one <laughs> this is like I have a, I've done like one building <laughs> uh, that this has turned out to be a lot of fun I've never decorated a coastline like this before so and I'm really enjoying it luckily for me there's a lot of coastline on this map It needs to be just like wild little grass growing up around the border, I think, but not that tall. 
maybe some of this stuff, but not that crazy either. All right, that can look not wild since that was planted. If we go that with that. tree I don't have any palm trees anywhere except a couple at the fishing industry um, know, let's see how they look it might be what am I talking about there's a billion palm trees right there to choose from. That one's cool. I think it's too big though. Picking up all the sick people because the hearing, all the hearing loss emergencies. I don't know which one to use. <laughs> Let's go with this one, I guess. It just doesn't look right. <laughs> just one sticking out. Let's see how many shorter ones. Make it like a cluster. Awesome. How about one right here? All right, so hmm. I want to put a, another one. But I think we're getting too close to the train tracks and it wouldn't be realistic that somebody built one there. If there's someone I could hide it, but I don't think it I don't know. That's just a big area of nothing. And I can't put any roads under it because it's a big um, too much, not enough clearance. Or, oh, I don't think there's enough room to go over either. If you, but, I don't know, let's look. They got a nice view <laughs> of the train tracks. <laughs> I mean, that water really looks like it's moving. Do not get in that river. If it wasn't for the train tracks, it'd be a kind of cool view because it actually it goes way out over there. It's really cool. But I am not moving those tracks. <laughs> like I said, over here would be kind of neat to put like a natural reserve bordered resort. I just don't know how to get over here and make it look decent. A lot of people here. That's good. I 
Yeah, I love this map. It's just a lot of rivers that flow into the ocean. So this is one of my favorite maps. Probably my favorite map, actually. And I've never actually built up here before. Because <laughs> uh, we only have 25 tiles unlocked. I haven't uh, unlocked all 81 yet. So it might be a while. Still a lot to do. Let's see. Is there a game? Yeah. Still not done over here. Put that gap left. Maybe I'll just blow these these ones up here. Since I'm going to be uh, detailing over here anyway, just go away. I'm just looking to see how to make if it's possible to get anything over here. Cause it's it, it'd be in the park border, but I can change that, so it's not a big deal. But it'd be cool to have like another side gate right here, right back to the back of another hotel. Unless I went under under with move it sink the road underneath but it's that's a lot of sinking yeah I thought about that but it really it really it goes up here I just I don't know Plus, I don't really want to do that right now, so that's more of the reason why. Um, it would really have to go steep here. It just it'd be hard to get a realistic uh, slope. It's not that these curves are that realistic already. That's a pretty sharp curve, but I'm trying to do it as realistic as possible. That's cool. I could just look at that for a while. I really like the way it turned out, even though I'm not done, but because I don't know what to do over here yet. Let me just, I'm gonna build a road over the top and see what it looks like. And then if it looks crappy, I'll try to go underneath. Because it could be a road, a tunnel could go underground. I mean, it could be a, a road could be a tunnel too. Canterbury, whatever they're called. It's sticking through the road. Perfect. I don't like those anyway. But let's see. Where are you going? Hey, you need to park that bad? I, mean, I do have realistic parking on.
Let's see if Bob can get rid of these power lines because I don't have power rails anyway. It still has the power. The wires though. Dang. back oops All right, why won't it save to reset default does not let me pick the same one oh they're back what am I smoking okay duh we got somebody else in the chat welcome thanks for being here we've been um detailing the coast here. I had a bunch of high-res residential and decided to throw in some of these content creator pack hotels and I'm trying to decide if I want to put another resort over here. This would be like the natural reserve, the park resort or something. I don't know if I like that bridge sticking up. I definitely don't like that sticking out in the thing. Let's see, can I move it? Stretch it, I guess. We've still got the power lines. Just move up one, see if that high enough. Okay. Still don't know if I like it though. I just don't, I can't tell if that's realistic or not. Like, would they do all that? Definitely don't think they'd do that though. <laughs> so I'm thinking about putting it right here where these rocks are. So the, the rocks are going to go. pretty steep. So I'm just experimenting right now. And have ever in your life seen a bridge make a turn like that? I don't think I have. Like I, I probably could just cross right here. It might not be enough traffic to worry about um, backing trains up because it's just going to be one resort.
Maybe I'll do that. And if it gets bad, I'll fix it later. Or something else. But I can't get rid of these rocks uh, without move it because they're part of the map. So bulldozing doesn't work. of a resort being right next to a train station. Why haven't you moved yet? Did it disappear? Or did it go? <laughs> I took my eyes off it. It's just gone. <laughs> yeah. I, there it is again. Okay. It's glitching or something. Or it's confused. I had to see though. I had to see what it looked like. I'm worrying about the train. I should just be doing this. What time is it? 11.53. Okay. Probably have about 15, 20 minutes in me. That's the station power line. Let's get it. All right, and they already want to turn in there just to turn around, so that's going to be a problem. But let's bring the road. Let's just go straight out here with the road. I guess to about here. I want to put a bigger resort here. Definitely will fix the slope on that. And let's put another, let's, let's fix this real quick. All right, let's see what kind of hotel we have and then I'll fix that s slope a little better both sides I don't even know what to use here if I want let's see what's on here that's too big it's, it totally just blows up the skyline it's too big too small actually I could put a couple of these together maybe Not a travel lodge. New. No. Okay, where were those? There they are. What category are these under?
that's cool. I really like that building. Just oh, the chair all creaking. Right, let's get some water in there. And I fixed the landscape and realized I need parking, so I'm gonna have to redo that again. This is gonna need a lot of parking. Do something with some retaining walls or something back here. But I also don't want to make it too steep because that's supposed to be the way, a back way into the resort. Or not the resort. The thing. Natural res the natural. Blah, blah, blah. It's getting late. I can't talk anymore. What is this? National Reserve. Natural Reserve. <laughs> the Nature Reserve. There we go. Ooh. Okay, let's get rid of these trees. And then we need another alleyway road to go around the back. Let's do one with parking. I think that'll look, make it look cooler. Cars park on the road too. Since there's enough, usually I disable parking on, uh, yeah, I definitely do that. Um, later on in the game though, when I unlock 81 tiles, I'm gonna get rid of the water pipe requirement and delete it all because it takes up a lot of nodes and we won't be able to build anymore when we reach the node limit. I've never actually hit the node limit, but I might with this city. Just because I'm making a series with it, so. Alright, let me scoot that in closer to the building. Alright, why did it do that? <laughs> trying to move the whole road and it didn't move but the nodes moved underneath and the road stayed all right and we want the only thing I don't like about Bob uh, the beautification tree prop replacer whatever it's called is when you remove it off a road it removes it off every road of that instant and every road you'll make afterwards. But I can't have this stuff at a hotel. So it just won't be anywhere I use it. And I need the lights gone. Um, manholes can stay. Where's the light? Speed limit sign can go because it's not even an American speed limit sign. And I don't even see it on this portion. Okay, so I'm not worried about it. New street light. I don't know why I cannot see that. All right, let's just keep them from. Uh, you know, there's what? Oh, you're talking about the 81 tile thing. Oh, the node limit, sorry. 
Yeah, it's super high though, and on a console, you probably will never hit it. But when you're messing with mods and adding a bunch of detailing and stuff, it's a good chance you will. Alright, we're gonna do big parking lots again. No. It's a big parking lot? Park this, whatever this one was. I get them mixed up all the time, and even more the later it gets at night. Let's see. This might be too big. Yeah, that's a lot. It's a pretty steep cliff. Go. Hmm. Well, let's put in the service road first. And fix that. And there's a really cool trick here with these with the node controller they'll make this get rid of that curve there I actually made a, a short tutorial for this and I learned it on an overcharged egg video just use node controller and boom square and that looks way more realistic to me either go down with the building or up with the road we're gonna go up with the road and no we want the dark one yeah where are y'all going Still needs to. Well, I should worry about how tall it is when I get the other parking in. The actual stripes here. Where is the entrance? Right there. So we will. It's probably too many parking uh, handicap, but. It'll be all right. Let's see. Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> it literally was the exact size. I love when that happens. And it was an accident. close enough All right, now we need these ones here So we just need to adjust this side because you can't see the lines. So it's either up or down. Let's go down. Probably this side. Down. Oh, come on. Where is the hump? Why are you not cooperating? It's just going to be like that because it's probably the node messing it up. Oh, it's irritating when it does that. Oh, 
MSG um, ever since I bought a PS2. How many years ago was that? 20 some years ago when online gaming started becoming a thing. Uh, it was just my initials to my name. Nothing crazy. So I've used that in every everything since. A lot of people ask if I'm monosodium glutamate and I usually just tell them I'm bad for you. Corny dad jokes, I guess. Alright, I love the activity. That looks really cool. And it's not even detailed yet. Alright, let's try to slope this uh, ground a little bit better. So I don't have to do a bunch of craziness. But it might be doing craziness. Maybe not. That's just super steep. Oh man, and I can't fix it unless I move everything. Do I want to move everything? Or just live with it and put a retaining wall but that's gonna be a pain because I don't think I don't think a retaining wall going 20 feet in the air or higher eat like 10 of those contour lines will look realistic so I might have to change that I can just move everything over. I just don't want to do that right now. Cause I'm probably logging off here. About another 15 minutes, maybe. Um, but let's go ahead and add a trail at least. Or actually, can I fit a park gate right there? need to extend the park border did I lock up oh come on I think I froze it's not sure if you can hear me but games froze Give it a second, maybe it was just saving.
You can still hear me, I guess. Missing quite a few props, only because I haven't gone and looked for them yet. You said you play on Xbox, so I'm not sure if you're familiar, but um, this loading screen mod, like if, when you download stuff from the workshop if they don't if the creators don't put what kind of assets you need to go along with the build they'll be missing like this but this mod gives you a link to them all so you just go click and find them there's nine that are not there at all so the original creators deleted them but the others I'm sure are still there I just haven't done it yet And this is a normal error. I just haven't gone back and deleted the old cemetery block that's causing this uh, error. Okay, I lost all the parking. Ugh. That's not that much. It's frustrating. I'd say it's a good time to stop for the night, but I can't leave without the parking done. Actually, let's let's go ahead and leave that border for plants. A little area right there. <sighs> Does that look different than last time I made that one a lot longer before it crashed probably I should just delete this part and I probably need to bring this out a little further because it needs to have another access to the road so I didn't do that on the other one. Okay, no controller. I seriously love that. That's so cool. Okay, and then we need to move it. I need to figure out how to click it to where it auto levels to a target you pick. I don't know how to do that, but there is a way. Okay. Yeah, that's a good thing that it did crash because I did have too many handicap spots, so. I think it only needs eight spots. I think I had 
10. I don't know. It's probably the same. There should be like six. But I can't do six. Without it not being even. And it's not even there. Let's see if I can get rid of that one. It's just not center. Okay. I don't. It doesn't need to be that center. Don't let, what's it saying? Don't let perfect get in the way of good? Or something. Alright, it's still perfect. Likes a lock on you. Control X unlocks it. I'm trying to get, see if I can fit one right there. But it keeps wanting to lock to the other side. Oh, okay. It, don't let the perfect be the enemy of good. Yeah. Okay, back to where we were, I think, before we crashed. Let me see if I can't make this a little bit more realistic looking. No. Alright, we'll have to live with that. This side. And I have to redo this too. And that's where we crashed, was when I tried to get the nature reserve path. So we want to smooth this out. Let's see, can I go lower? No. Right, this side, I can get away with smoothing it out and adding a path because I won't be changing the terrain too much over here. Oh, that's so steep over there, though. It might be a good opportunity just to move the whole path in and make that a little less steep, too. Okay, and let's come down here. Try to get it to um, snake around. Can redecorate this later. Switch back, that's what I was thinking of the word. It's pretty steep. And let's get this moved over.
Okay, now let's try. Let me save it before I press that button again. in the park. Sweet. Whoops, wrong button. So let's go ahead and add this extra gate and that will definitely give people a reason to park in that parking lot. Is that the only two? Where's the small gate? Is this it? I thought there was main gate, small main gate, and then just a side gate. Okay. It almost fit perfectly. I have to move all this over to get that to fit if I want to. I'm just going to let it hang over there. <laughs> It can, that's fine. Alright, I think this is going to look pretty awesome uh, when I get it all detailed. And I will probably do another live again this week to do this detailing. Um, I actually need to work on an episode for this series. I, have, I don't have an episode done. Uh, so, yeah. If I do another live, it might not be till this weekend. But I think I'm going to call it for the night. Uh, thanks for hanging out with me, Jelby. It was fun chatting. And I will see anybody on the play playlist, the replay, if you watch to the end a little later. And I thank you for being here. I will see you all later. Thank you, Jelby. I saw that comment. Goodbye.